All right. Fresh water. Okay, so every winter, I tell myself I'm going to do more freshwater fishing come spring. And then every year, I join the rat race in the Raritan Bay for striped bass, and then bluefish, and then fluke. So this year, finally, I think I'm going to focus on freshwater, at least for the springtime. And... I've watched a ton of YouTube videos, so not a lot of experience, but that vicarious knowledge is there, and it'd be a shame to let it go to waste. Sadly, I've also purchased a ton of freshwater baits every winter without fail. So this year we'll put it to the test a little bit, and maybe do a few catch and cook with freshwater species and see where that brings us. Um, I think I might do a bluefish trip and I might hit the stripers when they swim in the Long Island Sound. I think that's more fun structure fishing anyway. But for now I'm going to focus on freshwater bass, both species. So here is the first lake. This is way early in April. The water temperature is like 43 degrees in the morning. So they're not really committing. Nothing crazy happens in this video. I do catch my first largemouth and smallmouth bass in over 15 years. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Oh, come the Alright, so here I'm using a black and blue 3 8 ounce jig with a Yamamoto, I think it's called a flapping hog. I'll leave a link to everything I'm using in the description. But this rod, I'm, I'm feeling all the branches and then now all the chunk rock and then finally the bite. Yamamoto. Eighteen, not bad. Red lips. Okay, so this is a different lake, and later on in April, I started the day throwing a Ned rig, then dragged a football jig for a while, and then slowly swimming a 4 inch Easy Shiner on a jig head near the bottom, and I didn't get bit until I switched to a soft jerk bait. So this is the 5 inch. Kitex Shad Impact, and I'll go more into it in the video later on, but it is deadly. I mean, this thing has such great action in the water, and then later I used a 4-inch as well. These smallies I ended up catching, I didn't even know they had smallmouth bass in this lake, so it was a pretty fun day, and I think I enjoy myself a lot better than if I were to join the whole fleet in RB 
the strike bass run is on right now so you'll see a lot of other videos depicting that species I don't think I need to add to the chorus there Letting it sink maybe four or five feet down. It's all raw tip. It's similar to a hard jerk bait. The whole point is you pop it, you hit it through the slack. As soon as you hit it, you give it slack. So the bait is sinking, or a hard jerk bait is just suspended. And then it goes, and then it either stops if it's a hard jerk bait, or it starts to sink immediately. And you get that shimmy action from this bait, the shad impact, as quickly as possible. But if you jerk and you hold your line tight, your bait goes forward and then it glides. That's not what you want. slack up immediately, pop and then point the rod tip back. I should work this bait pretty deep. I move on that one. Another small one. It's called That's a 3 aught owner light wire hook. I got 10 pound leader to 8 pound braid. And I tie a little craze loop. I think that's the best action you can give this bait. This bait, when it sinks on slack line, and you have that loop knot with the light line, it kind of shimmies. It does that almost like a Senko.
gosh. Oh my god, he just spat up a perch. Don't jump. Spat up a perch right when the first time he was jumping. Large mouth. Come here. Perfect hook set. Oh look! Oh my god, he got the perch. That's gotta be the same perch that the other one let go. This is a different bass. And he caught that perch. I hope you guys see that. Good for you. Same size, look at these fish. So that first fish spat out that perch. Obviously that perch was not in tip top shape. And that second fish I caught must have scooped it up. I cannot imagine there's two perch. I mean, a small yellow perch has got to be a pretty rare meal for a bass. You know, is that like a shad or some kind of bait fish? That's my theory anyway. The first one spat it out and another one that was nearby that I ended up catching took it. Unbelievable. Nature. Yeah. Alright, well, that's it for now. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do more freshwater, catch and cook some panfish, not bass. Uh, maybe catch and cook pike, pickerel, who knows. And I'm also going to join my cousin for more surf fishing or at least shore based fishing this year. So definitely trying to broaden my horizons a bit. All right, well, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.